Will it be a tragedy if fur seals disappear because they're such a beautiful animal, but it's also a really strong indication because they're a top predator in the ecosystem that something very seriously wrong is going on in the North Pacific and Bering Sea. A northern fur seal is part of a group of animals called pinnipeds that include seals and sea lions. So they're very much like sea lions, but they have fur instead of blubber to stay warm. So they actually spend very little time on land. Most of the year, probably nine months of the year, they're out maybe in small groups, maybe solitary, just sort of hunting around the North Pacific Ocean on their own. So they're pretty unusual in that respect. In Canada, northern fur seals are classified as a threatened species, and under the IUCN, which is an international organization, they're considered vulnerable because of the population declines. What we're trying to figure out is why northern fur seals have been declining in the wild and try to develop conservation strategies to help the population stabilize or even improve. So one of the studies we're doing are using these types of tags, which we deploy on wild animals to collect all sorts of environmental and biological data. The question we had is, are we affecting that behavior by putting these tags on a streamlined animal? So we could actually measure the behavioral and the energy use differences by having different types of tags on the animals and see what their effect might be so we can better interpret the data that we're getting from the wild animals. The research has been really well received um, by government agencies that are trying to figure out how to manage the ecosystem in the North Pacific and Bering Sea. They really understand the value of doing the type of work we do here uh, with animals in a laboratory setting. It's helping them deal with animals in the wild and help the populations there. If we can identify what's causing the population declines, we know what management decisions we need to make, things like fishing practices or exploration or even just shipping traffic in the North Pacific and Bering Sea, and how we might have to change that to help the species recover. Ultimately, the goal of all of our research with the animals here at the Vancouver Aquarium is species conservation. So being able to study them within the aquarium helps us answer questions that hopefully will ultimately help species recover in the wild.